With the sunshine making an appearance over much of Vancouver Island today, it was the perfect time to get the bikes out of storage and pump up the tires. That was especially true for one Comox Valley man who's created a one-of-a-kind bicycle powered by the sun. CTV's Gord Kerbis takes us for a ride. To say his bike gets a lot of attention would be an understatement. It doesn't matter where I park it, I come out and there'd be half a dozen people standing around and I have to do a show and tell, you know. <laughs> wherever I go. Victor Ford is a bit of a backyard inventor. He created this solar-powered bicycle and says it's a constant work in progress. This is his sixth version. The bike itself is made, it started life as an old scooter and I welded a front end off an old quad and uh, all the stuff I got from the scrapyard. It's an ever-changing thing. You know, every week it's got something added onto it or taken off it. It's just, just a hobby. Ford says creating the bike wasn't rocket science and he believes anyone can do it, provided they have patience and experiment with the right materials. It's made out of just aluminum angle iron I got from the scrap metal place and it's uh, pop riveted and uh, hot glue. I'm the farthest thing from an engineer you can imagine, but I got patience, you know. And, uh, you know, what I don't know, I just have to find the right buck and learn, uh, learn it. He's mounted four 30-watt solar panels onto the bike, hooked in a series to generate 48 volts. The energy is captured into four motorcycle batteries that, when fully charged, will take him 80 kilometers. It's licensed as a, a power-assisted bicycle. You're allowed three wheels, and it, it goes about supposed to go 32 kilometers an hour maximum. There are safety reflectors added all around the bike and battery operated LED lights for added visibility. All lit up, big bows, Merry Christmas from Victor everybody. And when the holidays roll around, the bike is equipped with Christmas lights and festive music. Pretty cool, huh? But during the spring and summer days, it's the spinning Canucks logo that highlights the bike as he travels along. Gord Kerbis, CTV News, Union Bay.